So the question is, why does this sandy loam that has a much larger particle size, individual particle size, than this uh, silica flower, much smaller, finer particles in it. It's, it's a material that's been ground and sieved, very much like wheat flour. Um, but the issue is those particle sizes. If I take this soil and uh, let it dump out, I get something that resembles a cone. If I do the same thing with this soil, it forms a much higher, sharper edged uh, material. And, and the other thing, if I just take my hands and press them together, I can get a ridge of material. Whereas if I do the same thing in this soil, we'll look at them from the end now, you can see the difference. If I look at them from this soil, you, from this angle, you can see the difference. The sand just makes kind of a little low mound, whereas the silica flower stands up really tall and straight, smooth edges. That's about cohesion. Smaller particles have more cohesion for one another. And so that's what we see there. That's why even though the, the silica flower is much finer, why it doesn't erode nearly as bad as the sand. The sand particles are essentially the optimum size to be eroded by wind. And those silica flower particles are too, uh, have more cohesion, so they don't, they don't wa blow away. Now, the, what's the story then of this one? The story is aggregates, large chunks that slow down the wind speed at the soil surface. Roughness, and so that's why we have less erosion from this one using straw or something on the surface like that would reduce the amount of, of wind erosion because the straw would act just like the aggregates in reducing the wind speed at the soil surface. On a fine sandy loam which is just about the perfect size to be eroded by wind, the threshold velocity or the wind speed at the soil surface that's required for soil particles to start moving is 13 miles an hour. On a soil that is finer in texture or has more aggregates, the wind speed at the soil surface has to be much faster. 